the Congress of Vienna. After the defeat of Napoleon, European countries wanted peace and establish. They had a goal of the new European order, one of collective security and stability for the entire continent. A series of meetings in Vienna, known as the Congress of Vienna, were called to set up policies to achieve this goal. Originally, the Congress of Vienna was scheduled to last for four weeks. Instead, it went on for eight months. Metternich planned for Europe. Most of the decisions made in Vienna during the winter of 1814 and 1815 were made in secret among representatives of the five great powers, Russia, Prussia, Austria, Great Britain, and France. By far the most influential of these representatives was the foreign minister of Austria, Prince Clemens von Moder Modernich. Modernich distrusted the democratic ideals of French revolutions. Like most other European aristocrats, he felt that Napoleon's behavior had been a natural outcome of experiment with democracy. Metternich wanted to keep things as they were and remark remarked the first and greatest concern for the immense majority of even nation is the stability of laws, never they change. Metternich had three goals at the Congress of Vienna. First, he wanted to prevent future French aggressions by surrounding France with strong countries. Second, he wanted to restore a balance of powers so that no country would be a threat to others. And third, he wanted to restore European royal family to the thrones they had held before Napoleon's conquest. The Containment of France The Congress took the following step to make the weak country around France stronger. The former Austrian Netherlands and Dutch Republic were united to the from the Kingdom of Netherlands. A group of 39 German states were loosely joining as the newly created German Confederation, dominated by Austria. Switzerland was recognized as an independent nation and the Kingdom of Sardinia in Italy was strengthened by the addition of Genoa. Balance of power. Also, the leaders of Europe wanted to weaken France. They didn't want to leave it powerless, because if they broke up France, then another country may become so strong that it could threaten them all. Also, no country in Europe could easily overpower another. Legitimacy. It's about the ruling families of France, Spain, and several states in Italy and Central Europe regain their thrones. They were agreeing that as many as possible of the rulers whom Napoleon had driven from their thrones be restored to power. Then, the participant in the Congress of Vienna believed that the return of the former monarchs would st stabilize political relations among the nation. By agreeing to come to one another aid in case of three to peace, the European nation had temporarily ensured that there would be a balance of power on the continent. The Congress of Vienna created a time of peace in Europe. It was lasting peace. No one of the five great powers waged war one another for nearly 40 years. Political changes beyond Vienna. The Congress of Vienna was a victory for conservatives. King and princess resumed power in country after country, in keeping with Metternich's goals. Nevertheless, there were important differences from one country to another. Britain and France now had constitutional monarchies. Generally speaking, however, the governments in 
Eastern and Central Europe were more conservative. The rules of Russia, Prussia and, Aust and Austria were absolute monarchs. Conservative Europe The rules of Europe were very nervous about the legacy of the French Revolution. They worried that the ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity might encourage revolution elsewhere. Late in 1850, Caesar Alexander I, Emperor Francis I of Austria and King Frederick William III of Prussia signed an agreement called the Holy Alliance. In it, they pledged to base their relations with other nations on Christian principles in order to combat the forces of revolution. Finally, a series of alliances devised by Metternich called the Concert of Europe ensured that nations would help one another if any revolutions broke up. Across Europe, conservatives held firm control of the governments, but they could not contain the ideas that had emerged during the French Revolution. France, after 1815, was deeply divided politically. Conservatives were happy with the monarchy of Louis XVIII and were determined to make it last. Liberals, however, wanted the king to share more power with the legislature, and many people in the lower classes remained committed to the ideas of liberty equality and fraternity. Similarly, in, our, in other countries, there was an explosive mixture of ideas and factions that would contribute dif directly to revolutions in 1830 and 1848. Despite their efforts to under the French Revolution, the leaders at the Congress of Vienna could not turn back the clock. The revolution had given Europe its first experiment in democratic government. Although the experiment had failed, it had set new political ideas in notion. The major political upheavals of the early 18s had their roots in the French Revolution. In revolution in Latin America, we can see the actions of the Congress of Vienna had its consequence far beyond events in Europe. When Napoleon deposed the king of Spain during the Peninsular War, liberal Creoles seized control of many colonies in Americas. The Creoles, however, attempted to retain and expand their power. In response, the Spanish king took a step to think control over the American colonies. Other Spain colonies in Latin America also became independence. And finally, we have the long-term legacy. The Congress of Vienna left a legacy that would influence world politics from the next 100 years. The continent wild's effort to establish and maintain the balance of power diminished the size and the power of France. Eventually, the nationalistic feelings would explode into revolutions, and new nations would be formed. European colonies also respond to the power shift. Spanish colonies took advantage of these events 
in Europe to declare their independence and break away from Spain. More and more people saw democracy as the best way to ensure equality and justice for all.